Hi guys, my name is Aaliyah and in this video I'm going to be talking about the website that I used in order to find scholarships. It was able to help me basically figure out what I qualified for and then I used that to prioritize what I was able to apply for and basically what I had the best chances at winning. So in this video I'm going to be covering all that and more and talk about how I used some of those sources to help me find like fifteen to twenty thousand dollars in scholarship. So without further ado, let's just jump straight into it. Okay, so you're going to open up a Google tab and you're going to type in JLB College Counseling. And then it's going to bring up the main page. And she also gives great college advice. She has a blog that covers several topics, such as being accepted, college essays, college majors, looking at your financial aid, understanding exactly what you're paying for and how the system of financial aid works. And then of course, at the top here, you're going to have your scholarships. The categories are just so many available scholarships by age scholarships by major uh military scholarships minority scholarships parent scholarships state scholarships study abroad scholarships and i mean the list can go on and on so i would use this to see what monthly scholarships they had available and i would see basically if i qualified for it or not so for example alabama let's look at their scholarships you have the Atlanta chapter scholarship. You have the Alabama's Cattlemen's Foundation up to $1,000. And it gets right to the point. You have the sponsor, you have the amount, you have the closing date, and you have a description. So basically, I would go through monthly all of the scholarships that were available to me, whether it was for minority or for gender for women, or I would just look by state to see for Florida if I qualified for scholarships. And so I would use that basically to narrow down what I could get done and then go to their website, which is really convenient because it's already linked into the blog that she has available. And then it just takes you right to the page where it's going to show you where you can apply for the scholarship that's available. I also look to, to see what exactly the scholarship is asking you for. So is it 350 words? Is it 500 words? Is it a thousand words? essay, you really have to look at that because that will also let you know how much time you're going to have to take to sit down and writing the essay that they're wanting, uh, going through the revisions to, also if they need transcripts, if they're going to ask you about extracurriculars, whether you were in clubs or you were doing athletics, all those things really account for how much time it's going to take, how many days. Sometimes you have to come back and forth to that scholarship until you know it is complete and it's ready to be submitted. So this was such a great tool for me. I actually won several scholarships, Abby V and a few others from applying through this website. And guys, take advantage of this. It is literally free. You don't have to pay for any other service. You just come to the website and she literally updates it daily too on what scholarships are available month to month. And then she'll also put extended dates like here at the top for the Atlanta chapter scholarship. The closing date was September 26, 2020. Now it's been extended to October 10, 2020. So now that gives you more time if you were still looking to apply for it. Now that it's extended, now you have more time to apply and really be able to give the best application that you possibly can so that your chances of winning the scholarship are greater. And ultimately, that's what you want. And for me, I would always try to realistically put down, okay, what can I realistically get done? And then if I had time throughout the month to write more essays or do more scholarship applications, then I would go back in and do that. But you also have to prioritize which ones you're going to do first. That was one of the biggest things. How much time you can give to each scholarship application that you're looking to apply for. Also looking at scholarships too, if you need recommendations from teachers, that will take time because teachers are very busy and they also have a lot of things on their plate. 
So being able to work within their window to get a recommendation from them for a scholarship, that's really big too. So I think really just prioritizing your time and prioritizing which ones you're gonna work for and be able to get, that's gonna be your best strategy as far as winning these scholarships. This, like I said, is a great tool. I would recommend it to any college kid or anybody who's going to high school who's needing help and getting that extra scholarship because one, you don't have to pay scholarships back. It is literally free money. You don't have to pay a penny back. This is them telling you that they believe in you and your education and what you have to offer. So just show them that you are the best that you can be and that you're the best candidate for winning that scholarship. So this is just one of my tips that I have and one of the websites that you can use. Take advantage of it. Let me know how it is for you, if it's helped you out, or if it's something different that you really haven't seen online. Let me know. Comment below, and I will see you in another video. Thanks. Bye.